Pectin is a naturally occurring toxin, a poison. It comes from the castor bean, which grows almost any place it is warm. So you can find castor bean plants all over the United States, and ricin is fairly easily made by grinding up these beans. Ricin is toxic because it attacks the cells of the body. It makes it impossible for them to produce protein, and in a sense, the cells die. Ricin can get into your system in a number of different ways. You can inhale it, you can ingest it or eat it, or it can be injected into you. Only by eating it or injecting it do you really have a substantial level of exposure or danger unless you were to inhale a lot of it. That's one of the reasons why the idea of it being sent somewhere in an envelope may not represent a really very strong threat. Probably the most famous incident that people can think of in recent years involving ricin was there was an Eastern Bloc operative who was injected with ricin. Uh, it was in the tip of an umbrella and a little syringe up at the top there. He died from it. That can be done to somebody, but that is the most direct way to get ricin into the system. <laughs> Ricin should in no way be confused with something like anthrax. Anthrax puts spores into the air that can go through ventilation systems. A very tiny bit can poison an awful lot of people. Ricin is just not like that. This is something that attacks the person who has ingested or who has been injected with the ricin. Bottom line though is, if you get it into your system in a sufficient dose, there is no treatment for it. The best treatment for ricin is to stay away.